It's about time, lads, isn't it? It's finally, like, it's about time that we are finally seeing some actual ratings for NBA 2K22, my team. So not 2K22, my team, 2K22. And also, I'm going to be talking about how I believe that that translates into NBA 2K22, my team. Because, again, sometimes the ratings do kind of translate. There is probably going to be, or we actually, well, to be honest, we just need to, we need to look at this to just see how many. So we just see how many Amethyst guy, cards there were for theme 20 NBA or yeah, 20 NBA current series one. So we had one, two, three, four. So these are five different players. Then LeBron, six, Steph Curry, seven. Kev, was Kevin Durant there at the start? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. So we had seven. So the top seven players in the game all were were this rating. The top seven players in the game all ended up being at that Amethyst tier. So we're going to be looking a little bit at that. And if you're looking even at the Rubies, the 89 overall was Luka Doncic. And Luka Doncic, as far as I'm aware. I think it was just... No, it was Dame. Dame and Luka, there really were not many. There were not many at all. Um, 89 overalls. There weren't that many rubies at all, to be honest. Was Westbrook a... I did not realize Westbrook... Oh, he was a sapphire. Porzingis has gone down to like an emerald or a gold next year. He's I, I don't know. Gold is too harsh. He had a good regular season. But um, yeah, so this is what we have seen so far. We got a first look at a couple of ratings. So, Luka Doncic, 94 overall. Which means... Is he going to be in the top seven players? So let's just say, let's just think about it. We had 96 overall Kevin Durant, which I think is fair. I think it's fair. He's going to be the high top, probably the tied top rated player in the game. Steph Curry again, 96. Again, as I've already told you guys, these screenshots don't look great. Giannis being a 96 is a bit of a surprise. Because Giannis started off last year, I'm almost certain, as a 97 overall. Uh, coming off his MVP. But, um... Yeah, I think I'm fine. I don't have a problem with any of these overalls. I think Chris Middleton deserves his 88 rating. I think that that's perfectly fine. I think 85 is fine for Drew Holiday. Maybe I put Drew Holiday up one, but I'm cool with that rating. I really am. Middleton had a really good season. Jokic at 95. I think that might be a bit high. Like, I get it he was an MVP, but do I think in the grand scheme of things, Jokic has had as good a past year as Luka Doncic? Maybe, maybe not. I think 95 is high, putting him one rating off the top players in the NBA. Like, I know he won MVP, but he's not LeBron. He's not. He's probably going to be the same rating as Kawhi, and I personally believe Kawhi is a better player than Jokic. And uh, it's not like I do. He well, well and truly deserved regular season MVP, but I think maybe, maybe 94, but 95 is okay. Um, Dame starting off as a 94 overall. Lamelo. This, is it just me or does LaMelo Ball look worse this year than he did last year in game? Am I the only one who thinks that? that Tatum is a 90. Okay, I think he's gone down, has he? Zion's an 89. That's fair. That's fair. Like, so nothing we've seen so far has been has been off. I actually do think they were all right. So again, the UK page seems to be quick, updating quicker than the actual page. The actual page, as always, they'll just try to get... They try to get Ronnie in everywhere. Oh, man. Ronnie's fantastic at his job. Oh, I just I just hate seeing his face everywhere. I just hate seeing that. But he is fantastic at his job, so I'm not going to uh, give it a... Uh, I'm not going to um, say more than that. So, yeah. I reckon that we see... It's a tough one because... We, look, we have to look at last year's players. I have to assume Harden is going to be a 95. I have to assume Harden is going to be a 95 overall. And so Anthony Davis is going to be a, is going to be dropped. He's not going to be an Amethyst. So the Amethysts are going to be Giannis, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James. Giannis, KD, Steph Curry, LeBron James. Nikola Jokic. That's five. That is a guaranteed five. Kawhi Leonard. Is a sick. Is the number six. James. Har and 
between James Harden and Luka Doncic and Dame for probably the last maybe one to two to three spots. I'd have Luka in there over Dame. And I'd also have Luka in over Harden. But I mean, if they're the same overall, that's a tough one. Because if we see Harden and a 95 overall, I think we see the exact same um, Amethyst as last year, except replacing Anthony Davis with um, Nikola Jokic. I think that there's a good chance we see that. We have to assume again that everything is going to be the exact same in my team. Um, we have to assume everything is going to be the exact same from NBA 2K21 to NBA 2K22, my team, in terms of there being seven. Like if they want to make it make it 10, Anthony Davis still isn't in that top 10. It would probably, for me, if they wanted to make 10, dark, 10 Amethyst cards, because we know at launch it's going to be, Jokic is going to be one of them. I would have Jokic for AD, that's seven, and then Luka, Embiid, Dane. If they want to make the top 10 cards, and um, that would make perfect sense, is if they did make the top 10, it would be Luka, Luka, Dame, and Embiid. Did I say AD? Luka, Dame, and Embiid, with AD dropping down. There's no way does Anthony Davis deserve a card over those guys. Whether you believe Anthony Davis is a better player than those guys, that's you can make that argument. But did he have a better season last year than them? No chance. Not even close. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So look at the ratings. I, I'm okay with the ratings. I think if you're gonna make it make it a four-way tie for number one, this is the one year where I believe that there are. This is like from probably 2010, maybe 2011, and no question from 2012. From 2012 to 2020, there was no debate. And I get it, people used to try to argue Kawhi because LeBron was injured that summer, but there was no debate. LeBron from 2012, potentially, heck, some people argued from 2008 with LeBron James, until but the thing is, actually, the fact that I was saying there's an argument there with LeBron. But from 2012 to 2020, there was no argument. LeBron James was the, the best player in the world. And now I think some people are going to argue KD. Some people are going to argue Giannis. Some people are going to argue Luka. Some people are going to argue Steph Curry. I think that, honestly, it's gotten to the stage where I do per I genuinely agree with the fact that 2K are going to have a bunch of people tied as the number one player in the game. I think Kawhi Leonard's going to be a 95, if I was to make a guess. I think that um, Harden's going to be a 95, and I reckon Embiid's probably going to be a 94 or 93, and that's probably going to round out the top 10 with Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis in a close number 11 spot. So anyway, that is the video. These are the overalls for NBA 2K22, my team. Let me know, or 2K22, and how I believe they will, they will end up linking with my team. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.